it grew by one inch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now, now. For example, you were there yeah. when you got healed. Yes. What is it very important is not only the healing, but to keep your healing. Yeah. Okay. Now, when the symptoms came back, at once there comes worry. No? Well, I don't know if you say so. I know so, I have so, a sister so, going through. Sorry? Treat, I have my twin sister going through treatment uh, for cancer, you know, so hmm. maybe I'm a, a little bit worried. And when you're worried, what kind of words come out? Faith words or fearful words? So can you once again invite that sickness in your body? Yes. Did Jesus say he has healed you or your faith has healed you? He said your faith has healed you. So when you got a negative faith, can that negative faith also bring sickness along with it? It can. If faith can move mountains, yeah. negative faith can build mountains. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing two days? Building mountains. Praise God. Because my brother Vijay was saying, there was a person, he said, why do you put this, this person's testimony on the screen? Mm -hmm. And I said, I would love to put it on the screen because I want to make people understand that the preacher does not heal people. Yeah. The preacher's job is to speak the word and make people understand the word. Yeah. So the word has been sent and the people on the other side have received the word. Yeah. They have changed their thinking and they began to believe. Mm -hmm. So when they begin to believe, instantly there is a miracle. There is a healing. But after they have gone out of the door, what are they going to think? Mm -hmm. Are they going to think on what happened? And how Jesus healed them? Or are they only going to think about their problem? Well, I didn't think I thought about my problem. I thought, I, I, you know, I did think that Jesus, Jesus did heal me. I am healed. So when you say you are healed, at the same time you are worried. So are you really believing? That you are healed? Well, or you are only speaking words? Well, you're, are you saying I'm only speaking words? So can we now say it again? Mm -hmm. And this time you say it with your faith. Mm -hmm. And you say it to yourself. Yes. Okay, say this. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. That you are teaching me. That you are teaching me. How to pray. How to pray. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. It was on Monday. It was on Monday that I got healed. That I got healed completely. Completely. There was no limp in my body. There was no limping in my body. But on Tuesday. But on Tuesday, Monday night. I, I I can get the pain. I got the pain again. I got the pain again. And instead of rebuking that pain. And, and instead of. Instead of rebuking the pain. I have been thinking about the pain. I've been thinking about the pain. So as I think. So as I think. I speak. I speak. The Bible says. The Bible says. So it is. So it is. So Lord, I realized. So Lord, I realized. It's my mistake. It's my mistake. That I could not keep the healing. That I could not keep the healing. But right now. But right now. I make a decision. I make a decision. To rebuke. To rebuke. That infirmity, that infirmity from my body, from my body, and I choose to believe. And I choose to believe that you have set me free. That you have set me free. Oh Jesus, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you by your wounds. By your wounds, I am completely healed. I am completely healed. No more affliction. No more affliction. No more sickness and disease. No more sickness and disease. I am set free. I am set free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yeah, now check it out. Amen.
Isn't that amazing? Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise so the Lord has healed you. Lord. Yeah. Did I touch you? No. Did I speak words? You did. And did the words fix you up? And the words fix me up. Yeah. So what do you need for all problems in your life? Faith. The word of God. Yeah, faith. And believe the word of God mm -hmm. and everything will be fine. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. you see, there's going to be a fight. Yes. Without a fight, you don't get anything. Yes. So for your sake, I'll have to stay at your place for the pain to go every day. <laughs> because that pain will keep on knocking at the door. Yes. The pain is not passive. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, what did we write? Praise God. So, just now you saw that she had sickness that is something physical, she can feel the pain. But when you use the word of God against it, the word of God went and killed it, destroyed it, and that's why she has been set free. Now, how many of us believe that when I open my mouth and speak God's word, the Lord Himself will glorify Himself? And bless me. All of us. Is that right? And that's what exactly what God says. That he's a good God, a compassionate God, always thinking of ways to bless us. But we know though we but on our side, we are filled with selfish ambitions, bitterness, envy, jealousy, that we are not able to get connected to God because these fruits comes from the evil one. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the first line you wrote was, words are the most important things in the world. So what's the most important thing in the world? Words. Your words. And God's word is the only way to a successful life. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So when I come to Ireland, I preach the word, but I have got so much of success in Ireland because after the preaching, all I have to do is share the same word to others. And as they listen to the conversation in their own language, it makes a big difference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So is God faithful to his word? Yes. Are we also faithful to our word? No. So are you willing to change? Yes. yes. Because if you're not willing to change, nothing is going to happen. If anybody wants their season to change, the season changes when you apply faith. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So now we learned that the world was framed or created by the word of God. And Hebrews 11, 1, 2 and 3 says. Hebrews 11, 1, 2 and 3 it says. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for. He's not saying faith was, faith will be. But he's saying faith is. He's not saying faith is a past tense. Faith is something in the future tense. Now, he's saying faith is now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 So when you have the word of God, you have God himself on your side. Because the Bible says, the one who is with us is not against us. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
so the universe was created by god's word genesis 1 1 2 3 so before god can create something he has to use imagination how many of us when we pray we speak the will you but there seems to be no trace of the will you we only keep speaking about a problem we keep thinking about a problem but there is absolutely zero imagination when we are speaking our faith when god created the universe before he could say let there be light he knew what is light in the same way when you are saying by the stripes of jesus i am healed how much of the time did you spend meditating on the affliction that came on him nothing we speak video without the or we speak audio without the video because our eyes are speaking to us and giving us videos that contradicts god's word is that right see none of us are immune to problems none of us are immune to trials and sickness and disease it will come but when it comes let us fight it god's way and not the devil's way amen amen hallelujah hallelujah it's ready so words are the most important things in the world and god's word is the only way to successful life okay uh, was a man named joseph uh, joshua in depression joshua the deliverer was he in depression hello was joshua in depression no when he was going through a terrible time no okay his friend Moses is dead. Now will he be depressed? Yes. His relationship is all gone. Will he be depressed? Yes. So in a situation like this, when Moses had died, and Joshua is supposed to be taking over from now on, and he has got a congregation who is specialist. And what is this specialty about this congregation, the Israelites? they had extreme unbelief and whenever that they would come under pressure they would lift up stones to kill their leader and here is joshua doesn't know anything about the administration hallelujah in the palace but every time is speaking is faith and therefore it is faith that brought him to the king where he had one chance just one chance to interpret the dream right or wrong did he interpret the dream joseph in the old testament yes yes when he interpreted the dream did it happen according to the dream did things happen according to the prayer of elijah Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. So also in our life when we store that word in our system and we live by the word will that affliction have effect on me or will that affliction be totally destroyed and there will be the glory of God. The affliction will be destroyed. So are we supposed to destroy the works of the devil? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So every day are we supposed to speak faith or fear? Faith. Who gives you victory? Sorry. Who gives you victory? Who gives you victory? Victory. God gives you victory. Yes. What about you? God gives me victory. What about you? What about you? I don't know. You don't know. That's a good answer. God. I like to change it. So there's one person who has been honest and saying, "I don't know," but the others 
thought that what they gave the answer was right and the answer is absolutely wrong 1 john 5 4 open the bible to 1 john 5 4 Oh, we just came in just to see you. Sorry? We just came in to some spec. To just come and see what's yeah. happening. Yeah. Okay. Praise God. It's good to come and see what's happening. Mm. And then slowly get involved in it. Mm. That's what mm. the word of God does. Okay. 1 John 5 4. Yeah, read. No, you are in the Gospel of John. I'm saying the letter of John. Right behind. Right behind the book, sister, side of Peter. John, you say. John, John. In Ireland, it's very nice. When you make a mistake, you can say, I did not follow your English. Is it ready? No, in So can we do can we do like this? Can we do like this? We have heard from him and proclaimed to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. One John five four again read it. So whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Our God or our faith. The Bible doesn't say that. The uh, faith in God. Mm, but yeah. the Bible doesn't say God. No. No. So when you say God, that means God is responsible for your healing. Well, when, when, when the Bible does not say about God, He says, it's your faith. Yeah. Jesus never said, go in peace, I've healed you. Mm. Nowhere. Mm. God never says that. Mm. God says, your faith yeah. has healed you. Yeah. So is it going to be labor from my side or God's side? Your own side. But most of the time, yeah. what are we saying God to God? God, you labor from your side. He's saying, no, 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 no. We'll do it the other way around. Well, you how believe? Do we get healed? How do we get healed if it's not from God? Say if I'm sick and... Uh, I, I did not say it's not from God. I said faith. Your faith. It's my faith in God. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put it this way. Do you need food? to your physical body so when you eat healthy food will your body be healthy yeah, most yeah. Of the time, yeah okay the food was served but you never ate will you be healthy no, no. <laughs> in the same way god is saying i have served you my word which is a food to your spirit you never ate it so will you have the faith to get healed no, no. so is god responsible so God from his side has done it all. So that's why he says, it's not me who heals you. It's your faith in believing what my word says is what heals you. So who is responsible, God or me? Me. So most of the time, what do we say? God never healed me. God doesn't need to heal you because from his side, he has finished it. He has declared by the wounds of Jesus, we were all healed. Mm. But from my side, have I believed that word? And you have to have your faith and believe it. It's up to yourself, isn't it? So how will you have the faith to believe? Well, I, I don't know. It just happens. <laughs> I just have it. I don't know. I if you don't know and it happens, then all the time you will be in deception. Okay, I'll show you how it will happen. You want to know? Yeah, tell me. Okay. Supposing you prepared coffee mm. and you want to make the coffee sweet, what will you put? Sure. Now, why were you so sure? Because I know it's sweet. It's a sweet. In the same way, when God says something 
and you have a relationship with him, mm. you know yeah. what he said, mm. he will surely do it. Mm. And that's why mm. you have faith to believe. Mm. But if you have never had relationship, you know only about God, mm. you know only about his word, mm. then you will say, I don't know how it works. Mm. Well, yeah, I obviously have a relationship. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So your relationship with God is not based on some emotions. No. Your relationship with God is based on how much do you study His Word? Mm -hmm. Not how much you pray. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I like praying too. You might be praying without the Word mm -hmm. and it might not bring any result. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus never said to His disciples, go around to the ends of the earth and pray for them. He did not say that. He said, go to the ends of the earth and preach mm -hmm. to every creature. What's so special about preaching? Preaching makes the person understand the principles of God. Mm. Spreading the word. <clears throat> and you know when you say about prayer, like it's 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 just as nice to talk to God, like not in the hill. Very, very, very nice to talk to God. But not knowing the scriptures is very dangerous. Yeah. Let me give you an example. You are talking to God and you are saying, God, I got pain in my legs, please heal me. Right? Now was that a good prayer or a very dangerous prayer? I don't know. You don't know because you don't know the scripture. Now the scripture says that when Jesus hung on the cross, he took that pain of your body into his own body. He took your sin into his body. And he has forgiven you, healed you, and declared by his stripes you were healed. So Jesus has finished his part. Yes. And now what are you saying to Jesus? Lord, please heal my leg. When you are saying, Lord, please heal my leg, are you not saying, Lord, my leg is sick, that's why you need to heal my leg. Now is Jesus saying that he is supposed to heal your leg or your faith is supposed to heal your leg? So your faith is supposed to heal your leg and faith says by stripes you were healed. What are you saying? I'm not healed. Because you are saying I'm not healed based on your senses. And faith is nothing to do with senses. Faith is believing the unseen what God has declared in his word. When you go to a restaurant, do they give you a menu card here? Yeah. yeah. Can you put your finger and order for that? Yeah. The waiter takes the order mm. and then leaves. Mm. Does the waiter come and serve you instantly? No. no. But are you waiting patiently? Yeah. Yeah. Are you worried? No. Are you fearful? No. Why not? Because you know it's in the menu card. Mm. In the same way, can you take the menu card of the Bible and say, this is what God has said, this is what I order, and this is what I receive by faith. Yeah, but you, I know what you're saying, but you, you have to trust in God as well. That comes through practice. Yeah. That comes through relationship. Yes, all your trust in God. And see, 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 do, see, 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 you can say words, but words without action are dead words. Yeah. For example, you got a car, but if you don't drive and you got a license, and for years you have not driven. Will you be able to drive? Yeah, and I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know. But, but, but so, so, so faith is not a one-day no. event. No. It is an everyday relationship. It's your life. But through the word of God. Hmm. So if you don't have the word of God, hmm. you don't even have faith. I know. Yeah. We do. We do. We, we are, we're good Catholics. I never but, doubted you. But, but I, I have to say this now, you know, the healing about the pains and all, and mm. believing in God, but there's so much sickness, you know, with young mothers leaving little children and dying. And how do you explain that? <laughs> you, know, I, I, you know, I worry about my nieces and I'm a worry. My, my question to you is, do we educate our children with the word of God or with prayers? With prayers, probably. And prayers, which prayers. we don't even explain yeah. what those prayers are all about. Mm. 
So one, did Jesus say, when my word abides in you, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. He never said, I will set you free. He said, right? when you understand the truth, for example, you, have never, you don't know how to drive the car and somebody gave you the key. Can you drive? No. But when you go into actual physical demonstration and you take a driving class, now you're actually holding the steering, the brakes, the accelerator. Now you're learning. So faith is all about learning. And practicing every day. But if you don't know the Bible, you are saying, I got faith, but it never works. And that's why comes frustration that I prayed so much and God never answered me. God is saying, listen, you prayed something that I did not tell you. For example, you got pain in your legs. Do you have pain in your legs? Yes. I know that. Pain. Yeah, it will go right now. Now, let me explain to you. How many years you got this pain? Well, I have very bad for the last year. I have pains everywhere okay. for the last year. Okay. You have faith, right? Yeah. Then how come it did not get healed? I don't know. And now, in the next three minutes, they will get healed. Because you will know the truth. And the truth will heal you. Then we will leave this room. Because all this time, you are praying based on your senses. Because your senses are saying, I'm going through so much of pain. God, can't you have mercy on me? And God is saying, listen child, even before you can pray, even before you were born, I sent my son Jesus to pay the price for your sin, to pay the price for your sickness, to do it everything. I have done it full from my side. But you have never opened the Bible. You, you got a place and you don't have the document. Somebody comes and challenges you in the court and you don't have the document. What will you do? But when you have the document, you can go to the court and say, this is the document that proves this is my inheritance. Is that right? Your healing is your inheritance. You don't earn it. You get it from Jesus for the price he paid. Now let me show you how you get it. Okay? The Bible says that Jesus' body was wounded. And by those wounds, you were healed. Now my question is, do you believe God's word? Okay. Now let me explain to you what is the meaning of the word believe? You know, I'm so glad that these two sisters came and sat down. I've got now practically, uh, you know, because they have not heard the word before. And I'm so glad that they came that I can teach them right from the beginning. Okay. And it's not going to take much time. Just a few minutes. And when you understand the application, just as you put sugar, will it become sweet? In the same way, when you put the word, it will go and kill that sickness instantly and you will be healed. Okay? I do not want you to challenge me. I want you to become like a baby and just listen and learn. Because when it's challenging, you are not going to listen to the truth because you will come up with another question. Okay? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, Jesus said, by stripes you were healed and you said I believe it so first let's study the word believe okay what do you understand by believe um, truth belief okay let me give you an example a person had 10 euros and he gave away uh, 7 euros to a poor man to help him. Yeah. Okay. How many will he have? Three left. Three left. Now that was confident answer. But that man who gave him seven euros, who had ten euros, was a Christian. Now how many does he have? The man who gave it was a Christian. Was a Christian. Now how many does he have? Seven, I because for you, whether he's a Christian or a non-Christian, doesn't make any difference. But when a person understands the word of God, he says, 
that Jesus said, because you believe in me, when you give, it shall be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give into your bosom, right? So scripture says, when you give to the poor, I will multiply it. The world says, when you give it to somebody, there's subtraction. So my eyes say, subtraction. Bible says, multiplication. Which one do I believe? So faith is, human faith is three. Bible faith is, I got 700 now. How did you get 700? Because Jesus said when the seed is planted, it will bring forth a hundredfold. So which one do I choose? Do I choose three or do I choose 700? We don't choose 700, we choose three. That's why our purse never opens up. Because our life is governed by what I see. Our life is governed by what I feel. Our life is governed by the knowledge of the world. Is that right? Now, did you understand the difference? As long as you are believing on three and you pray the whole day, there's nothing supernatural. Because a person with Jesus and a person without Jesus also believes that. The real challenge is when you can see the three and you talk to yourself and I say, I believe the 700. That's when comes the supernatural. Now in the same way, the same way, you have pain in your legs, in your body for more than a year. You can't deny it. It's a fact. But the truth is, that Jesus is saying, by his stripes, you were healed. Now comes the confusion and the battle in your mind. How can I deny my pain, which I can feel? And on the other side, the Lord is saying, can you focus on my word more than your pain? And then I will show you the glory. So if God's word says, by his stripes you were healed, do you believe God is going to heal you? That's where you go wrong again. Because in your senses, I'm still having pain and God will heal me. Whereas the Bible says, by his stripes you were healed. So you were healed or you are going to get healed? So if you were healed, is God going to heal you? Yes. No. Because the Bible says, I am healed. So my, my faith is on what? The document of the word or my feeling? Which one? The document. The document. Now, do you understand the difference? Now, as you are understanding, did you realize about 25% of the pain has already left you? Yeah, good. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. I know that. Because now you, now for the first time, you got an understanding. And I'm so glad that you are a child. You know why? You're willing to listen carefully, not challenge. Yes. Children are able to learn. The biggest problem is when a person is not becoming childlike. That's why Jesus said, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he becomes like a child. Okay? Now, we will go further. Are you, are you okay up till here? Yes. So is God going to heal you? No. Fantastic. Come on, give me a five. <laughs> That's a quick learning. That's a quick learning. I never had a student so quick learning. Praise God. Now, next one. Next one. Did you pray to God for more than a year Lord, heal me? Yes, yes. The Bible says in Mark eleven twenty three, Jesus saying, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, He never said, Whosoever shall pray about this mountain. So are you doing what Jesus said or are you doing what others are doing? So are you willing to change? Sure. Promise? So now, are you willing to speak to the mountain? If Jesus said you can speak, so are you willing to speak? Yeah. 
So if you can speak to the mountain, can you speak to that sickness? Yeah. Can you speak to the pain? Yeah. Can you speak to your bones? Yeah. Can you speak to things? Yeah. But have you been doing that? No. Now, did Jesus speak to the wind? Yeah. Yeah. Did he speak to the storm? Yeah. So did Jesus say, the very thing that I did, you will do the same? Yeah. But you never exercised your authority. So are you ready, soldier? Come here. We'll finish this and move. I don't want her. Come here, come here. I have to go because I have to be somewhere. Don't you want to see the miracle and go? In three minutes? Oh my God, it still takes three minutes. Just three minutes? Because, because, because this miracle okay. is going to do a lot of things in you. And me? Why yeah. am I coming into it? Because it's going to change your thinking as well. All right, okay. All right. Because your thinking needs to change. All right, okay, but I have you three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come. <laughs> come, come. And I want you to see it's not a magic show, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Close your eyes and say this Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I came here to see what's happening. I came here to see what was happening. But that's not true. But that's not true. You had a great plan. You are a great plan. To bring me over here. To bring me... Over here. Away here. Over here. Over oh, here. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I thank you so much. I thank you so much. For giving me the gift of understanding. For giving me the gift of understanding. All this time... All this time... I was moved by my senses. I was moved by my senses. The Bible says. The Bible says. The just shall live by faith. That I shall live by faith. And not by sight. And not by sight. But my life was governed. But my life was governed. By my senses. By my senses. I was waiting for the healing to come. I was waiting for the healing to come. And then believe. And then believe. But your word says. But your word says. First believe in your word. First believe in your word. And then I will see. And then I will say. I repent. I repent. And ask you to forgive me. And ask you to forgive me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Cancel every negative word. Cancel every negative word. Fearful words. Fearful words. That I've spoken against myself. That I've spoken against myself. And others. And others. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. And I love you. And I love you. In your name. In your Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. In your name. In your name. I now take authority. I now take authority. Over every sickness. Over every sickness. Infirmity. Infirmity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Close your eyes, concentrate. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. All you infirmity. All your infirmity. I bind you. I bind you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I command you now. And I command you now. Get out of my body now. Get out of my body now. I said right now. Right now. I said. I said. Right now. Right now. Get out of my body. Get out of my body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of infirmity. The spirit of infirmity. Has been cast out. Has been cast out. And it will never come back again. And it will never come back again. In the same way Lord. In the same way Lord. Now I speak to my bones. Now I speak to my bones. All my bones. All my bones. I love you. I love you. You are very precious to me. You are very precious to me. Now get aligned. Now get aligned. Go back to your right position. Go back to your right position. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I thank you. Oh Lord, I thank you. For this quick surgery. For this quick surgery. Now my muscles. Now my muscles. Tendons. Tendons, ligaments, ligaments, cartilages, cartilages, nerves, nerves. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be recreated. Be 
recreated. Loosed. Loosed. And relaxed. And relaxed. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you for this creative miracle. I thank you for this great miracle. And I thank you. And I thank you. In your name. In your name. All the pain has left me. All the pain has left me. And I'm completely healed. And I am completely healed. Set free. Set free. Because your word declares. Because your word declares. By your stripes. By your stripes. I am completely healed. I am completely healed. I believe the scripture. I believe the scripture. With this, with my whole heart. With my whole heart. And I declare. And I declare. I am set free. I am set free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Yeah, tell me now. Begin to move your fingers. No pain. Move your hand. No pain. No. Move your neck. No pain. Move your legs. No pain. Was that easy? Yes. And you suffered for so many years. I suffered for the last year. Bad. Bad, yes. Very bad pains, yeah. Now what healed you? Um, it was, it was, it was... What did you feel when you were praying? Just felt peace, dreadful peace. Yeah, because you understood the truth and you were so quick to learn. I find rarely people who can learn so quickly. And because you understood that you're not going to get healed, but you were healed as a gift from God. Do you know what you just received? Your healing as a gift from God. You did not earn it. You did not work for it, you just believed it. Congratulations. Now, did I tell you in the next three minutes you will be healed? Why am I so sure? Because of relationship. And this relationship is not sitting and talking to God only. This relationship is on a foundation of the word of God. You know your rights. You know your privileges. And based on those rights and privileges, you are talking to God. But if you don't know your rights and privileges, you are lost. You might be praying a most dangerous prayer which contradicts to God's word. And anything that contradicts to God's word, God calls it pride. And God says, I fight against pride. That's why the Bible says, my people are not destroyed by the devil. My people are destroyed because of their own lack of knowledge of my word. Yeah. So did you see that? Mm, yes. Love. That's how faith works. Mm. Did we use words? <coughs> Hello, did we use words? Yes. Yeah. Words are the most important thing in our life. And through words, you can have healing, you can have deliverance, you can have victory. You can have success, you can have protection, you can have prosperity, you can have everything. Praise God. Praise God.